Now some of you have some explaining to do. The question I'm going to ask you today is, why do you care so much? Why do you care about what people think? Why do you care about a person who's not willing to give 100% to you? You have to ask yourself that question and many of us are getting trapped in this very scenario. We end up giving 100% to a person and end up receiving 0% back. Why is that? We're going to be exploring three reasons behind this scenario and I'm also going to be telling you how to get out of it. Now, like, share, comment and subscribe if you are new to the channel, this world. You know, one of the most common reasons I see people caring too much about people that they shouldn't even be caring about in the first place is due to their own insecurities. Listen, we're all human, we have emotions, well, <laughs> sometimes at least. Oh my god, who the hell cares? But uh, for the majority, we're all humans, we have emotions, and sometimes we think to ourselves that, okay, if I, if I don't bag this person, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. And, you know, as you grow older, you start to realize that that's all bullshit. Gotcha, bitch! Because, you know, the more you work on yourself and the more you focus on your education, the more you focus on improving yourself physically, financially, mentally, the more you attract people into your life. So I know, you know, there's there's people in their teens, their early 20s who think, uh, you know, if I don't impress this person, if I don't bag this girl, this guy, I'm gonna be alone for the rest of my life. Trust me, that is not the case. The right person, as cliche as it may sound, the right person will come to you at the right time. You just have to, for now, start grinding, start focusing on yourself, start improving your education, start going to the gym, start eating healthier, do things that improve and, you know, develop your value as a person, because only then can you attract valuable people into your life. Let's move to number two. The second reason why I think mo most people care too much is due to peer pressure. And this, this can be direct, it can be indirect, but we see, when we scroll through our social media pages, we see all of these happy people. We see them enjoying the time with their friends. We see them enjoying the time with their loved ones. And we think to ourselves, man, our lives suck. I'm alone. I'm still sitting here on a Friday night, night doing work. And we think to ourselves, our lives couldn't get any more worse. <laughs> but the fundamental truth is that I'm going to say it again, and this is going to be the fifth time I'm going to repeat this. So, and that's for it to sink into you guys. Do not believe in everything you see on social media, because social media is the highlights of people's highlights. Those people might only be temporary people that they're hanging out with. They might have just walked into the club and took a photo with, of a, with, with a group of people. It happens. But in reality, that person behind the scenes may be very lonely. You never know what someone is going through. And therefore, you can't always assume from a photo that, okay, their life is so awesome. They have friends and I don't. No, that's peer pressure acting out on you. And as I said in the beginning of this video, Make sure your number one priority is to be working on yourself. Your number one priority, whether you be a girl, guy, whatever, your number one priority is to work on yourself and increase your value. Because only then can you adopt the attitude of not caring. You know, once you value and you level up, the only thing that you're going to be caring about is improving yourself even further. The only thing that you're going to be caring about or caring about is attracting people of value into your life. You're not going to be caring about the opinions of others. You're not going to be caring about the negative criticisms of others because you know that is unfounded because you have done and put it all in the work. You know, did I just say put all in the work? What the hell? You've put in all the work to get where you are and you should be proud of that and you shouldn't be caring so much about what other people are, are telling you. You shouldn't be caring so much about being alone for, for, for a number of months or years even. There's nothing wrong with that. So make sure your number one priority at this very moment if you're watching the video is improving and working on yourself. Let's move to the last reason. The third and final reason why you probably care more than you should is because of fear. As simple as that. One word and that's fear. Fear of being alone for the rest of your life. Fear of being viewed as the outcast because you're not like the other people. 
I completely get that and I completely understand that we as humans are social creatures. We desire social interaction. We desire approval from others. Heck, we desire attention from others most of the time. It is very true. But that fear shouldn't be degrading you. That fear shouldn't be telling you that, okay, now I need to take into consideration what Pete said, what Steve said, what he said, what she said. It's, it That's what she said. <laughs> It can't work like that. You'll drive yourself crazy worrying about everyone else's opinions. And you know, this video originally I wanted to talk about why you care in terms of being alone, but why you care, you know, overall. Why do you care so much? Why do you care about opinions? Why do you care about being alone for for uh, for for a number of years or months? Because there's nothing wrong with it. I know fear is telling you that shit. I need to find someone now, otherwise I'm gonna be alone. Shit. I need to do something about this, otherwise it's not going to work out for me. Hi. Okay. I completely understand that. And that fear, you know, it, it has its grounds and it has its base. But you shouldn't be allowing that fear to take control of your whole life. You shouldn't be allowing that fear to turn you into a simp. You shouldn't be allowing that fear to turn you into someone who's pathetic and who always desires the attention and approval of other people. That's not how it should be. You should be your own person. You should bring your own value to the table. And if people can't recognize that value, it's their loss. That's the attitude that you should have. I'd like to thank you very much for tuning into another video. Excuse me. Gross. Um, now. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, I'd like to encourage you to please subscribe. Uh, it really, really helps me out a lot. And make sure you share this video with friends and family going through the same troubles that we're all going through. These videos are meant to help you make subtle changes in your lifestyle and in your mindset that can help you level up. Now, guys, I've linked my social media down below in the comment section. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, for the channel and topic you'd like to see, go and leave suggestions in my DMs or you can go and leave them in the comment section down below. I'll see you next time.